Guys, today we're doing the top five reasons why the Tacoma sucks. A lot of people have been doing it, and I want to chime in with my five. Okay, so Tacoma, there's not a lot to talk about when in terms of it sucking because it's it's actually a really good truck. But if you had to nitpick some some stuff, number one is the engine. Uh, the engine somehow lost 20 horsepower when they pulled it from uh, Lexus and they stuck it in Tacoma. Look it up; it's a true story. And then somehow. They lost even more power on the low end, below 3,000 RPMs. I don't know how that happens. Maybe they blame it on the Atkinson cycle system. I don't know, but you can't be running Atkinson's and expect power, I guess. I'm not sure, but fix it because Atkinson should probably come in if you're less than 25 throttle, 25% throttle, and then Normo, everything else. I'm just saying they need to fix that. It's just... It's just not really good to drive a truck that has a truck that has a car engine and it has not enough torque on the low end. Low end meaning, you know, under 3,000. Above 3,000 is not bad. It's actually pretty good. If you drive it like a Honda or drive it like a sports car, if you have a manual like I do, uh, keep it in the lower ranges, lower gear, and keep it in the higher ranges on the engine RPMs. It's actually a really fun truck to drive. But... This is a truck. You don't drive it like that all the time. It, I don't expect the city people to be driving it like that. I live in the countryside. A lot of wide open roads. I can I can do all that stuff. Number two. Number two is the stereo. The Intune audio package is garbage. I don't like it. It's confusing. It's not intuitive. It was cool in 2005, I guess, or 2010. But we're now 2019. That thing is outdated. Even though it's color coordinated with a little dash thing which is excellent that thing's excellent ux design is awesome on that ux is a user experience it's awesome but the intune system is horrible when you link up bluetooth there's like a one second delay between the uh, my iphone which is an iphone 8 and the stereo so if i'm playing just 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 try this right if you guys play this video and link it to your intune yeah, my voice will be delayed be a second delay i don't like that that's that's corny that's stupid it should never happen and on top of that when you try to connect to it it wants to connect either with via phone or via audio player it should connect regardless just connect easy and it's kind of hard to set up too it's not like I said, it's not very intuitive i've pretty much haven't used it since i left the dealership uh I plug in a uh, wire through the auxiliary and I play everything through my phone. That's how I use it. It's pretty bad. Uh, the, actually, the only thing I do use is the backup camera. That's cool. And that's that's about it. That's really the only thing I use on it. I don't use the radio. I don't. It's a new age. None of us really use radios anymore. It's got iHeartRadio on it and Slacker Audio. I don't even use it. It's got all these like GPS stuff. Uh, traffic, maybe once in a while. Economy mode. Economy is uh, pretty bad most of the times because I'm always driving it too fast. Oh, yeah. Speaking of economy, the Tacoma mileage is, uh, I think, is pretty bad, too. So that's another like men honorable mention is I drive it to work. I, I cruise 75 usually, and I'll get to work, and it's got like 16 miles to the gallon. Okay, in order to keep it below that, I know Toyota advertises it at 20 or 21. In order to get 20 and 21, you cannot go higher than 55. Okay, so that's a that's a that's pretty bad, but I don't know, maybe it's a truck problem. Okay, so number three is for the price you pay for a truck, $34,000 that I paid for this, it's a TRD model, which is not the base model, okay. And I don't get LED lights up here. And I don't get LED headlights, even though it's got projectors. So 
uh these lights are pretty much worthless too uh, as soon as i bought them brought a home like i said i live in the countryside it's pitch black out here i get home i switch all the lights off i pull the key out this thing turns on i can barely see anything in the cabin so swap those out within a week headlights are pretty disappointing uh plugged in uh installed with some uh led bulbs fix that problem too but then i still have the regular bulbs on the fog lights so i don't know Thirty-four thousand dollars. You look at just don't look at trucks, but look at cars and stuff around that price point. A lot of them come with HIDs or LEDs now, so I don't know why we still get that. Twenty twenty, there is an LED option upgrade, but it's a big upgrade. It's just, it's just, just make it standard on everything. Toyota. I know Toyota is kind of weird when they when it comes to that stuff. It's like they deliver the reliability, but they they dump all the features <laughs> so that's a toyota problem i guess you just gotta learn how to live with it uh all right number five number five is where i think i'm gonna blame it on the marketing uh, marketing team at toyota this package that i bought is the trd off-road package some people have dubbed it the on-road package because it comes with a chrome grill Okay, so if the, if the, for you that don't know, there's like a there's an SR package, there's an SR5 package, there's a there's a T, TRD Sport, a TSS, a TRD. So there's three trims right there, and then it goes like uh, TRD no, no TRD Pro, which is higher than all three of those, and then there's also the Limited. So I don't know why Toyota gave us a Chrome grill on the TRD model keep the chrome stuff okay so you all need to divide this into two categories once, once you get to that world actually you just keep it like city slickers and you keep off-road enthusiasts right so city slickers are srs sr5s uh limiteds tss sport city slickers and then you have trd pros and you have trds those guys don't want chrome they don't want anything to do with them, usually anything shiny are your bright colors keep that on the city slicker side the, all the other colors like your blacks grays uh desert tans quicksand army greens what am i missing yeah uh battleship gray colors that's that's trd right there that's trd okay that's that's off-road okay so get your shit together and that's just what i'm trying to say because it gave you a chrome grill I, I changed mine out within a month i went back to the sr they need to get a trd pro grill for all tacomas that are geared towards off-road so trd and trd pro should have the same grill trd limited though on the limited editions uh they should get the chrome grills chrome meals everything you know everything chrome get them all chrome they want chrome but we don't as an off-road enthusiast uh or beginner enthusiast, uh, I don't like chrome stuff. It's just you get to the, you get out there and nobody starts laughing at you if you have it. So that's the reality of it, All right? So that's that's my top five, man. Uh, Toyota needs to re rethink their packages there. Uh, that's pretty much it. Top five. Uh, hope that helps you. And sub to the channel if you guys uh, enjoy these type of reviews. I mean. The Tacoma review, I did a big Tacoma review too, so uh, be sure to look for that and the reasons why I like my Tacoma. Okay, see you guys on the next one. Sub to the channel, click the like button, click the like button, and I I may or may not see you again. See ya, Connery from Out of Work Outdoors.
Hey everybody, thanks for watching, but stop freeloading. We need you guys to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell. And be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see you guys on the next one.